Tall horse, where should we go? Check the trusty map. We'll get the property from that guy. West Dickens to do. Let's head to Ridgewood. What do you have to do for challenges? Rabbits, desert sage, deer pelt. Okay, well, let's see if we get anything on the way. Keep an eye out for rabbits, horse, and deer. I have terrible eyesight, you know that. Come on. Really, I actually I don't I have very good eyesight, but it seems like in this game when you're riding around, it's really hard to spot things like rabbits and deer and stuff. You're just cruising along. Rabbits especially. Come I should on. know, I always run them over. And I'm like, what? What was that? Rabbit stew is what that is. Uh, it doesn't look like Mr. West Dickens is awake. Dick! Oh, Dick! Where are you? Oh, buddy, get out of my house. Did you just pull your gun out at me? It's not gonna end well, friend. Howdy. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. Get out of my house. Slash shed. Whatever this. I'm. I'm just gonna take a nap, okay, guys? Taking a nap. Where do I take a nap? There we go. Nap time. And we're back. Maybe Dick is awake now. Oh, there's a horse thing to do. Let's do it. This steed looks right fetchy. I don't mind telling. Good luck, son. It'll be a piece of cake. And no mistake. I'll get him. Hey, you look a lot like horse. Horse one. Back here. Where are you going? Now calm yourself. There Easy. There. Easy. Relax now. Prepare That's to be it. mounted. Stay calm. Come on, baby. Calm down. Come on, baby. It's all right. Go for that pitchfork again. Don't do it. Don't impale yourself on the pitchfork. It's gonna be okay. Almost got it. No need for such drastic measures. Easy. You like it when I pull your hair like that? You like that? You like it? Gotcha. Let's go. Quick, quick, we gotta beat the guy to the stable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I imagine the horse stopping sounds like. Squealing tires. Damn fine riding. That was fast work, son. Yeah, what took you so long to get here? Slow poke. New items again, but I think it just unlocks horses. I'm guessing. Dick, where are you going? Oh, that's not Dick. Ah, that was Dick. Where, <laughs> where did you come from? Oh, Teleported out of nowhere. Right out of thin air. He's a magician. He's a wizard. Wes Dickens the wizard. Wizard Dickens. Wizard Dick? Ah, uh, Mr. Marston. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy. Your plan. 
I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. Feeding to the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America... <clears throat> That lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. And I need some danger money. So let's sell some more of these cures. <coughs> sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? <laughs> no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. What an awkward man. Now, sir, you got to reach. Oh, you're driving? I wanted to drive. What is this? Bull crap. Seth is an interesting fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting. More deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for life's Watson and Jetson. Connection with them more like. You and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. Ah, oh, my dear boy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. Hey, Robin Hood with spurs. Oh, romantic. You expect me to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. Are we there yet?